For thousands of Taylor Swift fans, it was crunch time as they anxiously awaited the potentially life-changing email confirming their chances of snagging tickets to the singer's next concert. Following the concert's pre-sale, which granted select fans early access to tickets if they had pre-ordered the singer's most recent album Midnight's, Taylor's era tour is scheduled to make its way across the pond in the summer of 2024. Fans had to register their interest in the future gigs in June as a safety measure to stop Ticketmaster from crashing owing to the extreme demand. And last, on Friday, fans learned whether they had been waitlisted or had been given a special access code to participate in the sales. Sadly, waitlisted fans won't be able to join the public sale queue, but they might be able to get tickets closer to the performance time. Swifties naturally went to Twitter to discuss their destiny and if they had obtained tickets at this crucial period. One upset fan wrote, Raise your hand if you've personally been victimized by the Taylor Swift waitlist. Someone else commented, Anyone else on the waitlist for London? I'm furious. When folks I know who didn't even enjoy her music a year ago have acquired tickets, I'm on the waitlist. Screaming, sobbing, and puking. Life is over, one more said. Just received my email for UK dates. Like I've been impatiently counting down the nine days to be on the F asterisk 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 G waiting list. I loathe you, said an irate fan, Ticketmaster. It is claimed that the selection procedure is totally arbitrary and not based on the customer's prior order histories. The chart-topping singer startled fans with two additional surprise songs during her era's tour on Friday night, and fans in the US were thrilled when they attended her sold-out event and roared in joy. The 33-year-old was entertaining a packed house of ecstatic fans at Denver, Colorado's Empower Field at the Mile High. Furthermore, it appears that the Swifties were ecstatic when she performed Picture to Burn and Timeless for the first time on this door. The first song is from Taylor Swift's self-titled first album, while the second is off her recently re-released hit Speak Now. As the celebrity performed the songs, Twitter users went crazy. Picture to Burn and Timeless, one person wrote. My all-time favorite Taylor Swift song and my current favorite Taylor Swift song are literally being sung by her in Denver. Wow, Denver Night One truly won, another person said. So envious, one responded, while another added, I have literally crumbled and died. The Era's tour, which Taylor Swift launched earlier in March in Arizona, is expected to smash records. The celebrity performs songs from her 10 albums over the course of a three-hour concert in her first series of shows in years. Catch. Once she performs a surprise song, fans are unlikely to hear it again. Thus excitement for every performance is always at an all-time high. The excellent news that Long Live, a fan favourite from her album Speak Now, would be permanently added to the set list, appeared to be confirmed at the Denver performance. The singer of the famous song Love Story re-released her third studio album over a week ago and sent a moving letter to her devoted fan base.
The multiple Grammy Award winner expressed how proud she is to release tracks that weren't included on the original album and how it felt nostalgic to revisit the songs she composed while on the verge of womanhood. It is here. It is ours, mine and yours. Swift posted on Instagram. It's an album I wrote alone about the whims, fancies, heartaches, dramas, and tragedies I lived out as a young lady between 18 and 20. This next week, general sale tickets will go on sale in a staggered distribution, and it may be carnage. After one million Taylor Swift fans rushed to the website to purchase concert tickets during the pre-sale last Tuesday, Ticketmaster collapsed once more in Paris. Sales for the Paris performance were put on hold, according to Ticketmaster France, since customers were unable to access the website with their credentials. The vocalist of The Bad Blood will play at Wembley Stadium on June 2021 of next year, and standing tickets have already been resold for about £10,000, according to Mail and Line, while seats in the stands are selling for about £4,900. The cost of the lowest ticket for the Thursday night performance is now $307, while the most expensive ticket is reportedly £3,687. Swifties were incensed by the resale rates, with one ranting. I struggled today to get Wembley tickets, and this is the state of StubHub right now. Disgusting. I bought £127 for two seats in this block in the same row, and they are on StubHub for £780 each, roared another. The issue is this. One fan stood poolside with a banner that read, Leave me alone, I'm trying to get Taylor Swift tickets while another used numerous laptops and iPads to score seats. Some confessed how they had looked for tickets while at work, while others made themselves unreachable.